The Supreme Court is just days away from deciding whether to take the Prop 8 case. Depending on how they rule, we could see marriages starting in California, Maine, Washington, and Maryland, all within the span of a few weeks. Plus, with new survey data out this week, it's now been two and a half years since our opponents last held majority support in any major national poll. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum, and welcome to Marriage News Watch for November 19th, 2012. It's just a few more days of suspense before the Supreme Court decides whether it will take the Prop 8 case. We had previously expected a decision by November 26, but now it's been pushed back a few days and could come on Friday, the 30th, or Monday, the 3rd. The court will also decide whether to take any of the four cases before it that involve the Defense of Marriage Act, and there's also a fifth case before it that involves domestic partnerships in Arizona. Depending on how the court rules, we could be close to marriage resuming in California, or we could be looking at oral arguments before the court and then a decision by the end of June. No matter what happens, AFER is ready to provide you with instant updates and analysis on what happened and how it affects you. Subscribe here on YouTube and at AFER.org to always be up to date. We're also close to the start of marriage in Washington State on December 6th. Maryland marriages start on January 1st. And we'll have a firm date for marriage in Maine as soon as the votes are finalized, but that should be starting up there before the end of the year. The percentage of the American population living in states with marriage equality will soon be at its highest point ever, even higher than it was when California briefly allowed marriage in 2008. And a new study by the Williams Institute at UCLA estimates that marriage spending in those three states alone will generate $166 million over the next three years. That estimate is for in-state residents only and doesn't include spending by tourists. And of course, public support for marriage continues to climb steadily upward. A new survey from the Washington Post shows 51% of Americans support marriage equality, with 47% opposed. The last time any major national survey showed our opponents polling over 50% was a Gallup survey in May of 2010. And even going back 15 years, the trend in support has only moved in one direction. Between the Prop 8 and DOMA cases, marriage winning on the ballot, and pro-equality legislators winning offices in multiple states, there's going to be lots of major news on freedom to marry over the next few months. Subscribe here on YouTube and at AFER.org so you can always be up to date with what's going on. At the American Foundation for Equal Rights, I'm Matt Baum. We'll see you next week.